The easiest way to get an idea of how big or small a country is to just look it on the world map. The largest looking countries on the world map are Russia, Canada, Greenland, United States, China, and Australia, which is also considered as a continent because it is a very large contiguous landmass surrounded by ocean. Now, if a very large contiguous landmass is considered as a continent, then why isn't Greenland considered as a continent of its own? As you can see, that Greenland looks about three times bigger than the continent of Australia. And almost similar in size to the continent of Africa, which is the second largest continent of the world after Asia. It is also surrounded by ocean, just like Australia. There are other important factors for a landmass to be considered as a continent, such as tectonic plates, etc. But the point I'm making here is not what a continent is, but to give you an understanding of how distorted the world map actually is. In reality, Greenland is only over 2.1 million kilometers square. While Australia is 7.6 million kilometers square, which is much much bigger than Greenland. The actual size comparison of Greenland versus Australia looks something like this. So why does Greenland look so huge on the world map? Is the world map wrong? In this video, we'll take a look at the world map and see how distorted it is and experiment with actual size of countries. When we look at a map of the world, we often take for granted that it accurately represents the shape and size of the Earth's landmasses and oceans. But in reality, all maps are projections, and each projection distorts the Earth in different ways. There are a whole lot of map projections of the Earth. The most widely used projection, which is used by Google Maps, Apple Maps, schools, colleges, etc., is the Mercator projection. Map projections are basically a representation of the 3D globe of the Earth into a flat surface. The Earth is a sphere and maps are flat. It is impossible to display a sphere on a flat rectangular surface without any distortion to its size, shape, or distances, and this was proved mathematically by a German scientist, Carl Friedrich Gauss. An example of this can be seen through Google Maps. On Google Maps desktop, if you switch to globe view mode and zoom all the way out, Greenland's projection is no longer the size of Africa and way smaller than Australia. Another example that people often use widely is that if you peel an orange and try to flatten out the peel to a fully rectangular shape, it just doesn't work. An analysis of the distortions that occurs on the map projections was published by a French cartographer named Nicolas Auguste Tizot. He came up with the idea to put circles of the same diameter on the globe. Which, when projected onto a map, will show how and where the map is distorted. Now, if these circles are projected onto the Mercator projection, we can see that the Mercator projection preserves the directions and shapes of the countries while distorts its relative size, exaggerating the size of countries near the poles as compared to areas near the equator. The size of the dots gets enlarged as it moves up or below the equator and remain almost similar over the equator. This shows how the Mercator map projection distorts the landmasses and shapes our perception of the countries near the poles as larger than its actual size. When you transfer the spherical shape to a flat surface, you approximate the true shape of the Earth. Some projections may cause size of the countries to be preserved while distortion is introduced to shape, like the Gall Peters projection. While in some cases, the shape is preserved while the size is distorted, like the Mercator projection. If you want to experiment with countries' actual size versus the size that we think they have due to map projection, you can do so by using a website called thetruesize.com. This website helps put us into perspective the true size of countries. Using this website, we'll take a look at some countries and compare their actual size versus the size that we perceive due to a map. Antarctica appears to be extremely large. In reality, it is the third smallest continent. As you can see, its size shrinks as it's moved near the equator and gets enlarged as it's moved up or below the equator. Madagascar and the UK look about the same size, while Madagascar is actually more than twice as large as UK. Alaska appears to be the same size as Australia, although Australia is actually four and a half times as large. As discussed earlier, Greenland appears the same size as Africa, when in reality Greenland's real area is comparable to the Algerias alone, and Africa's area is 14 times as large. Russia and China combined appears more than two times bigger than Africa, in reality, 
Africa is larger than the sum of the two countries. There are many examples like this, if you want to experiment with the true size of the countries, you can check out the website yourself. Since maps are only approximations of the true shape of the Earth and no map is accurate. A globe is the only best way to represent Earth if you want to see the actual proportions of the Earth. Ultimately, no map projection can perfectly represent the Earth's surface. The best we can do is to choose a projection that best suits our needs and be aware of its distortions. Remember, whenever you look at a map, it is not a true representation of the Earth, but rather a representation through a particular projection with its own set of distortions. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you like the video please let me know in the comments below.